Good morning, everyone. Um, we are in beautiful Andalusia, southern Spain, and I have four days off, so we want to explore in the next days a little bit more about um, a little bit more of Andalusia, the small towns that are in the mountains, and of course we want to take you with us. If you haven't seen it yet, we have upgraded our small van to a bigger van. Yes, so we have slept here in the mountains tonight and um, now our first stop is going to be one of the most famous towns here in the region and uh, let's see how, it, how we're going to like it. But first things first, we need a coffee. Besides this, we wanted to enjoy our beautiful views from the camping spot. And since it's already October, it was getting a little bit fresh in the night Therefore, the warm sunshine was highly appreciated. After driving our mini camper for so many years, it was a bit hard to get used to drive this big home on wheels. Also parking it is not an easy task. But it's also a bit subjective because it's even hard for me to park a bicycle. That's true. When we arrived to Sydney, I was a bit hungry and there was this nice bakery. Well, this one is really nice, it's called Rosquilla. It's like a donut, more or less, with um, um, aceite de oliva, olive oil, and, um, an orange, an orange. <laughs> with olive oil and orange, and a little bit of cinnamon, I think. It's super nice, it's not too so sweet, but it's very nice. The lady said that she's doing everything by herself, so it's all Artesanal. <laughs> handmade. Handmade. And it's very, very nice. I like the rosquillas. They have different ones here in Spain with um, sweet potato, with uh, orange, with potato, with whatsoever. So, our first stop for today was the beautiful town of Setenil. Um, it, is a, it is famous for being basically built into the rocks, and it's right next to a river. And it's basically very touristic because but also today is a holiday here in Spain so a lot of people have come but it is one of the most famous um, small villages in Andalusia or at least in this region and it is very very nice um, we also went to a coffee and the prices were completely fine also the food was okay so I was surprised um, although it is this uh, touristic that you can still find some some nice food, um, nice drinks, and also you have some very nice views from here. In Andalusia, so in southern Spain, it is pretty normal to find um, cave houses or houses that are built and are taking basically advantage of the cave that, that was there already. Uh, there is some wind. Because in summer it's getting very hot here, so in the cave it's always fresh and cold. The name Setenil actually comes from Latin septum nil, which means seven times and nothing. It's that because the Spaniards or the Castilians, they tried to conquer this town from the Arabs for seven times with no success. You could see why, like it's, the terrain is really hard to understand and to get around. Right. This is true. This place was conquered only by 1484, which is eight years before the Columbus arrival to the Americas. It's pretty insane to think that the Spaniards, they barely fixed the mess uh, in Spain and they were already sailing to the New World. So the next town that we're visiting is also a very famous one from, for this area and it is called Ronda actually there is one point that is especially famous and you can see it all over Instagram so 
let's see if we can find it and then we we'll show you. What are you seeing? A beautiful T3, I think, with modern equipment. With a flexible solar panel and a Max fan. Max air fan. Super nice. Hola. Buenas. It's super nice. found it so of course it's a famous bridge that you can see in the middle of Ronda literally because there's a small canyon well not so small canyon that is dividing the city so they needed a bridge on top of this canyon to be able to connect it and now we need to find another camp spot for tonight where are we now we are just next to Puerto de Santa Maria, just in front of the beach. Since it's already October, it was not too hard to find this almost perfect cap spot. What a nice way to start the morning. So the first thing of the day is exploring the nice town of Puerto de Santa Maria. Which is known for its sherry wines and fresh seafood. Tonight we have slept at a very nice uh, beach close to Cadiz, uh, basically directly in front of Cadiz. It was super super quiet, uh, but it's also already November, um, so I think in high season it will get pretty packed. But it was a very nice sleep and now we want to explore a little bit the towns that are here in the coast of Cadiz. We always try to park outside of the towns because the, uh, well, the towns here in Andalusia are very famous for having very narrow streets. And so therefore we don't want to bring our camper there to be honest. So we always try to figure out before we go to a town where to park and then walk inside the city center. Yes, you have to walk a lot, <laughs> but this stays, this keeps you fit. Um, and we're trying to get soon uh, some e-scooters, just that we can move a little bit easier. So we just bought lots of olives. Um, they, I was sold very well. <laughs> But also Andalusia is very famous for its olives and for the olive oil. And tonight we're gonna get a visitor. So I wanted to get a lot of olives and the good olive oil that we eat with a little bit of bread. After visiting this town, we got really hungry. Again. And we went to a restaurant just beside the main road, which in Spanish they usually call them ventas. And you can typically find very good food there. Upon arrival, they served us some free tapas, which is very usual for this region in Andalusia. As a starter, we ordered some croquetas, filled with codfish and shrimps. You can find it with any kind of filling. It really depends on the region where you are in Spain, whether they're more with meat, vegetables or fish. The seafood in this region is especially good and fresh. And the most typical Andalusian way to serve them is, without judgment, fried. Oh, that was yummy. And of course, the tuna. Therefore, we ordered shrimps and tuna in olive oil maybe two kilos of garlic. The cats also know what is really good. Did you know that you can find some of the best tunas in the world in Spain? And also Spain is the largest tuna producer and exporter in Europe. So if you are in this region, you should really try the tuna.
now we arrived at our last stop for this long weekend and um, we are in Conil de la Frontera and we're gonna show you a little bit around here in this beautiful village so what we've seen around here so far is that the region is pretty camper friendly so but now it's also November already so there's not a lot of um, campers in general there's not a lot of tourists um, and it's still kind of warm it's like 19 20 degrees during the day and we like it so far so here most of the parkings close to the beach are um, have these blue lines which is also called the blue zone and usually it's only well, here you only have to pay during the summer months because then it's getting really packed and they have to control it somehow uh, but now uh, starting September there you don't have to pay for these parkings anymore well there's a sign that campers are not allowed here directly here on the blue zone which is said. I mean you can always try it but on your own risk um, <laughs> but especially during the summer months I would not recommend it Tarifa is one of the windiest cities or towns in Europe and is famous for surfing, especially windsurfing and kitesurfing. Since it is still very nice during the day, I felt like getting some chocolate ice cream. And she didn't want to share it with her new friend. No, it's all for myself. The question is now whether everything is so calm here because it's low season and everything is closed or because it's siesta time. Well. Whoever lives in Conil or has more information about it, you can leave it in the comments. Thank you. So now we're at the end of this short road trip. It was super nice. Um, we really enjoyed this part of Andalusia. What was your favorite town of this tour? Please put it in the comments. I think I do have my favorite, which is the Puerto de Santa Maria. Uh, I think it was very lively. It was smaller than, for example, Ronda. And it was very Spanish, so you could still feel like a, a local there. So therefore, I think that was my favorite and we had a very nice parking lot for the night. And the food is really good. Oh yeah, the food here, that was very close to Conil. Food here in general is very good. 